Now that we're literally one week away from Christmas Day, I'm going to be giving away three of the most popular cars in Rocket League. And all you've got to do is follow these three simple steps. First of all, make sure you are subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications so you don't miss a future upload. Second of all, make sure you have dropped a like on today's video. And third of all, comment your details down below. But as well as that, which car you prefer. Just like the previous giveaways, I'm going to be selecting all three individual winners when the channel hits 280,000 subscribers. So best of luck to every single one of you. And yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so due to the demand going down on Painted Phoenix, I'm I'm going to be showcasing the most insane way to make yourself a ton of profit from buying and selling them. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel once again. I hope you're having a fantastic and safe day as always. And today we are going to be going through episode 8 of the brand new series. Go from 100 credits all the way up to that titanium white dominus. So in episode 7, the profit was pretty decent. I can't lie. But today it's literally a whole nother level as we're going to be investing into an item that's in the item shop. Which makes us even more profit. And we are so incredibly close to 30% of people watching my videos daily that are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you don't want to miss a future episode, I'm going to be teaching you so many tips and tricks. Make sure you are subscribing with notifications on. And the reason I'm making this video today is because the recent video just hit 4,000 likes so once again as soon as we get 4,000 likes on this video I'll get to work on episode 9 and yeah let's jump straight into it. Quickly before we do get into the video if you love Rocket League trading you are going to absolutely adore the brand new sponsorship on the channel RL Exchange. This up and coming website single handedly provides the cheapest and most reliable Rocket League items you are ever going to find including a free items page, giveaways and so much more. By simply clicking the first link in the description you are going to bag yourself 3% off every single purchase. Okay so jumping into the very first trade of the whole entire episode we are going to be buying ourselves a dissolver black market decal just for the fact it's going to be a lot easier to sell but take a look at the spreadsheet right there looking kind of fancy you know we've got the emeralds right there also got two black markets an rcs decal and a ton of credits just sat there chilling but yeah honestly yeah these emeralds weren't the easiest to sell we paid 1.8 in the previous episode so not too bothered but yeah they dropped recently on the spreadsheet and as over right now it's about 2.55 to 2.6k so getting myself this deal obviously adding 450 guaranteed profit so yeah straight away went back onto rl training post and changed up my post immediately just for the fact if you obviously keep emeralds on there and you don't have them anymore and you get a high offer you are going to be kicking yourself obviously that's an example but yeah i changed the price of dissolver just for the fact that dissolver honestly it's one of the best black markets in the game right now always is going to have demand but yeah this is a really basic trade honestly the strat and badge is about 50 to 70 and getting a minimum value for all of these like basic rcs items is going to be really really good so yeah you've just got to get into a rhythm of changing your post immediately after completing a trade because that way you're going to keep it safe for yourself and not lose out on any profit but this was extremely weird right so on my post i obviously put a credit value that i'm looking for or overpay offers a welcome just for the fact that way they've got two ways of paying obviously they can do credits or an item overpay and this was just really weird to me so we really wanted my lime in seller and saffron is right now is really really bad to be fair on the spreadsheet and lime is pretty decent to be fair taking a look but he added 600 credits on top which is already an overpay and it's tactician certified as well so i'm definitely gonna take this so yeah despite the fact that certifications don't really matter too much on painted black markets unless it's white striker yeah no one really cares about it too much but still we're not gonna say no to that trade and this is where the first step to the whole title comes into play so painted phoenix right now they're not amazing i'm not gonna lie because everyone's scared that white's gonna come to the item shop on christmas day like a did last time but yeah honestly sky blue came to the shop everyone's been quick selling and i managed to snipe this one for 1450 and take a look at the spreadsheet right now it's 1.7 to 1.9 so i think you know where this is going by taking a look at my post right there all i wanted to do was sell this thing immediately for credit so i started off one on every single post i could see with someone with credits just for the fact i knew this fennec was gonna drop big time so if you are buying something that's in the shop obviously don't buy it in the shop because if you buy something from the item shop it is gonna be untradeable i found countless people that tried to sell me a sky blue fennec and it was untradeable because they bought it from the shop. But regardless, this trade right here, really basic, really simple. Obviously, Dissolver, really, really big demand, like I said already. So getting myself, I think it's just above the mid value. We're definitely going to take this. And eventually, after like half an hour of completely searching, I completely disregarded every other item I had and every offer I got. All I wanted to do was sell the Fennec because I knew demand was dropping big time. I saw people looking for like 1.6. So I was like, oh no, okay. Am I even going to profit from this thing? But luckily, found someone that actually wanted it. And he didn't check the shop, obviously, because he literally paid me a lime octane which right now on the spreadsheet is the exact same price 1.7 to 1.9 but obviously isn't dropping ridiculously it's dropping a little bit but nowhere near as much as this sky blue fennec and then after simply listing on my post i'm looking for i think it was like the min value i still got myself a decent offer on the look for group page which was 1750 for this lime octane and that's what i mean with painted fennec they're at risk right now just for the fact obviously in the last christmas they brought white zombies white dominus to the item shop i feel like they're going to do something really really big this time because obviously free to pay players are around so 
just be careful, okay? The market is going to shift up a lot in the next week. But yeah, obviously, that's how I made myself a ton of profit from a painted fennec. So now that the fennec is gone and also the line marks in, we can literally put our feet up because we are going to be golden right now. There's nothing that's really dropping in our inventory. And we've got a ton of credits. Over 8,000. That is ridiculous. So what we're going to do, obviously, buy ourselves as many painted octanes, BMDs, and also fennex just to make that easy profit with the rest of the episode. And also, we are going to be buying some big items later on. But yeah, this trade, really basic, really simple. This guy was looking for credits. I said I've got credits. Offered 750 not thinking it at all. And bang. We got this. Take a look at the spreadsheet. Absolutely ridiculous. Some advice I would give to you if you're looking for a specific item, Rocket League Trading Post, absolute gem. Because obviously, that's how I sell most of my items on there for credit and overpay offers. But however, the looking for group page, if you find someone with an item and just say, I've got credits, how many do you want? And they give you an insane deal. Bang. Take that straight away because they're the one giving you the offer. They're not lying at all. You're not lying. And bang, easy profit right there. But this, like, I don't even know how to explain this. But this guy wanted credits. And obviously, the white Insidio, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, would have been good in it itself but he also added a tactician streamline so we're definitely going to take this insane profit like i said right there don't get me wrong there's going to be a lot of profit made down the line even if i get myself a decent deal for that insidio but taking a look yeah i've literally listed it for less than a min just for the fact it's going to be so hard to sell unless it's a white octane obviously white dominus there's not really going to be a demand there obviously white fennec as well because people aren't using the car that's the only reason as simple as that no one's going to be buying it because no one's going to be using it but yeah this trade really basic really simple but i found someone finally that wanted to buy the black octane rcs x and yeah take a look at the spreadsheet it's worth 2k and obviously dissolver like we've said already it's worth around 2.6 so we'll definitely take this so yeah despite the fact that phoenix aren't really that great at the moment you can obviously make a ton of profit for that reason because you can underpay by an absolute ton and then bang get yourself a comfortable deal obviously if they're like okay with it bang go ahead but don't lie about prices that is sharking which i talked about in a previous video on the channel but this right here really basic really simple but at the same time the octanes right now you can actually get a min it just takes a long time or the mid value should i say and yeah we did the exact same thing for this cobalt octane so we literally made ourselves let me think 350 credits profit from one octane that's pretty good As you may have noticed for the past two episodes i've had this buffy sugo just sat there doing nothing and yeah for the reason it's dropped a little bit on the spreadsheet and the demand has gone down a ton because it used to be new and no one really cares about it anymore unfortunately so yeah we had 50 credits for a crimson zomba we bought these at the start of the series maybe episode three and four and they're really easy to sell make a ton of profit and yeah for the fact obviously the spreadsheet yeah 900 to 1k and i think it's on 950 to 1150 adding 50 credits not a problem what whatsoever as there's going to be a load of profit made so that's going to be the final trade of today's episode i hope you guys did enjoy and also as well go down there make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you don't want to miss a future episode and yeah once again a simple little 4,000 likes on the video and i'll get to work on episode 9 straight away and yeah i'll see you all tomorrow